Now, in life, we have fantastic video games. We all know that the N Center C just, just got released back on the 30th of June, and it will get released to, uh, I think it's Japan, within in September, which is fantastic news. And hopefully one day we will get that Xbox One um, game to be on that one, and maybe the Spyro. But, for now, I'm going to go down here on my top five video games that need to be on the PlayStation 4, or on the Xbox One, or just both. Anyway, here's the intro. At number one, oops, why did I say that? At number five, we have Wayman 1, 2, 3. Now, the reason why I feel like this should come to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One is because this story and this game represent something of my childhood. I used to be scared of these games when I was quite younger. And I know that some of them on the Nintendo DS, and I also know that you can get these games on your, uh, on your phone, tablet, from the App Store and Android Store. But I do believe that these games should come to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now, um, it would be cool to also see them come to the PC and maybe the iMac and the Switch. But I just, I don't know, the graphics would be nicer, maybe with some redone voice acting or using some of the old voice clips and, and the music. I think it would look good. Well, for Wayman 2, I feel like we don't need to um, remake one of the levels because not everything is blood. No, the thing is, lovely sunshine. I have to stay in one place, guys, because it's waning. <laughs> anyway, and number four, we have Spyro: A Hero's Tale. Now, I've been playing this game recently quite a lot before I came on holiday, and I am thinking of doing some gameplay videos. Now, at the moment, I'm morely focusing on the Wrath of Cortex, but back to this one. Spyro: A Hero's Tale is a game that not many people will like, but I like it. This was a really good game for my childhood and I just feel like it would be nice to see it have a remaster done with the nice done graphics then maybe some returning voice actors and maybe have I don't know the bosses would be the bosses are fantastic and I feel like this would go good considering then considering that the eccentricity did well maybe Spyro Heroes Tell could do good instead of one two three Number three, we have another um, rumor game that may get a remaster one day. Crash, Twin, Sanity. Yes, I said those words loud and clear. Now, a letter went out congratulating Activision on the success on the Intentricity. I'll talk more about that on my Addy's Games channel for Addy's Game Time. But for now, Crash Twin Sanity, if you remember, is a story that, that got took place after the Wrath of Cortex and the Game Boy games and also yes that Crash Spyro orange stuff. This game was the high points once again. There was so much stuff cut out that it would be quite good to see that for DLC uh, for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But in this game you're able to play as Crash, Dr. Cortex and also Nina Cortex and Mecha Bandicoot at the end of the game which was fantastic. Now the reason why I feel like this sh sh should have a remaster done as of something that the treatment that the Incentricity had is because this game was another fantastic game. Uh, as a kid I found one of the chase scenes hard and I never made it for it but then eventually on my PlayStation 2 I tried, I did it again. Now I am going to be getting this on the Xbox once again, but I feel like this game does need a remastered and well do you remember that little scene when you saw Spyro? That would be cool to see him in something. They <laughs> uh, better not cut out of the remaster this game. The Neighbor is another video game. A video game that has been having the pre-alphas, alphas, and then betas, now the full game, August 29th. Now it's been confirmed that yes, this will come to the Xbox One, the PC, and the Mac, and you're able to buy this on the Hello Neighbor website. But there will be 
one thing that will be actually quite nice to actually have. This game to be on the PlayStation 4. Now Tiny Build, the greatest of this game, have released games on the PlayStation 4 before. So this would be quite nice to have this game on the PlayStation 4. Because for our, of course it's easy for me to go on PC, but yeah again, uh, the pre-alpha does not work and alpha one does work and now the neighbor demo on Steam is complete shit it is. But um but this game is fantastic. Now, I will say a just, just a brief storyline to it. This storyline is taking place with a neighbour and you are the neighbour moving into a new house. You got evicted and now you've moved in and now you're going to go and see what the hell this house is all about. What the screaming is and what the hell is going on. We know some um, information from like, the devil from this man might be controlling the neighbour and also the kidnappers or did this name by family whatever but I might talk about it in a theory figure one day else but I do believe how the neighbour should come to the PlayStation 4 one day and I will ask Tiny Build about that on Twitter hopefully one day as well but for now I guess I'm gonna have to buy this on the PC and I'm not pre-ordering it because last time I pre-ordered something on iTunes, they never got me what I want, so I don't trust people anymore. <sighs> okay, sorry about all of this, I'm speaking as loud as I can. Okay, now going for number one. I've recently just said about this guy, and yes, Spyro123. Now, as much as I don't really like these games, as much as Hero's Tale, I do believe that this should get a remastered for the PlayStation 4, and also the Xbox One, and maybe other consoles and PCs, whatever. But at the moment, there have been some fan games on Spyro, but not that great. In fact, Crash Bandicoot fan games are better than Spyro. Spyro is a character that had a couple of games, one, two, and three, and then moved on, and then moved on, and now we're all Skylanders, and now we haven't heard of him since. The last time that we heard of Spyro, it was either Skylanders Imaginators or Skylanders Academy, which is a Netflix TV show. Um, now, there have been some spot rumours that the Spyro 123, the Insomniac, um, these games, may get a remastered quite soon. And hopefully this is quite great because after the success of the Insomniac, it will be fantastic to have this. Because, well, it will be fantastic. So, um... Yeah, I like these games, but I like Hero's Tale more, and the reason why I didn't put Hero's Tale on the number one place, it was because, well, I just, I don't know, I need to blend in the trending topics, unfortunately, sorry. So that, that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Alright, I'm going to try and do a list-based video inside next time. But for now, um, if you would like to go and check some stuff in and stuff in, that would be appreciated. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And also, sorry for the weird schedule uploads. We are still off schedule, meaning I can do what the hell I want. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay good, Adi stuff.